What's one of the most basic things that you can make when you first start out with leatherworking? That's it. That's right, today we're going to make some wristbands. So we're going to do this two different ways. We're going to kind of go through the motions of getting ready to do these wristbands. Uh, we're going to do one with uh, traditional stamping. And the other one we're going to try and do with a uh, leather burning tool. I haven't used a leather burning tool yet. So we're going to kind of, to start off with, we'll just kind of go over the tools that we're going to use today. And then we will kind of play around with a sample piece of leather. Um, one of the things that you should always do when getting into the craft is buying some scrap leather. You can buy ba uh, bags of different scrap from hobby stores. And use that before you commit to a finished piece of work. Um, it saves you money, it saves you a headache, it saves you frustration. And it's a good practice to start. So uh, let's get started and let's see what we can figure out here today and learn in leatherworking. Alright everyone, let's go through the tools that we're going to work with today. So uh, first we have a leather stencil uh, for writing the alphabet out. We're going to use this with the uh, leather burning tool to try it out on the scrap piece. Like I said, scrap pieces, you can get them usually bags at a hobby store. Just some scrap pieces. Um, we're using veg tan leather, so we want to use the same material to see what our end results are going to look like. Uh, we have a couple of basic stamps. So the first one is like a circular point. It's called a cedar. Then um, this one we might use and we, we might not. This is actually a backgrounder. It makes like a kind of a lacy kind of background on it. And then we got a puppy paw print. And finally for the uh, stamping we have a small version of the alphabet. Uh, smaller number set. Uh, for stamping you have to have uh, well, actually stamping and leather dyeing, you have to have sponges and then some little reservoir for water. Uh, we'll go over why you have to have that in a moment. And then uh, the only other tools we have out here are going to be our scratch all and a pencil just so that we can mark things up and try to get a sense of it. Uh, and then down here for stamping, we're going to use, uh, we're actually going to use my good hammer. You can use any hammer. Uh, we'll be using that hammer. Uh, we have a piece of plastic here and then a piece of granite. Um, granite, you can generally go to uh, any place nearby that does uh, cemetery monuments, um, headstones. They generally have scrap and in most cases they'll just give you it. So you don't really got to do much um, to, to acquire it. You just got to have a monument, a monument place close by. Alright, so these are the tools that we're going to use. And let's get ready to start testing out this leather burning and see how this works. Alright, so now it's time to start checking out this leather burning and see if it's going to be something effective that we can use on these uh, wristbands or not. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention in the intro video and uh, uh, this video so far is we're also going to have a ruler always close by. Um, I like this one. It's got the cork board back to it. It keeps it from sliding. It's really good for um, anything really um, really recommend getting them that way all right so what we got here is we got uh, some leather let's zoom in a little bit so we can get a little bit closer to the action right all right so we're in there let's move a little bit there we go all right so we got get a little bit of light on uh, I don't know, that's probably not going to work very good. So we'll keep it this way. We'll keep it this way. I can clean this up later on. All right, so we got some letters. Um, this has been heating up for a little bit, so we should be good on it. Uh, so I know we're going to have to use the letter C. So we're going to kind of just like work our way around it. Let's see what that looks like in a minute. Kind of just kind of going across it and coloring it in. Alright, so that's what we get when we use it. It indents in. Um, it's a matter of how much pressure you apply to it as you're doing it. So once you get the outline of it in, you can get it 
a little bit better. But I'm noticing right away that there's some like chalky outside edges to it. Um, um, well, let's try one more letter and see what happens. Maybe I'd push too hard or something. Let's go real soft. Just like barely touching it. Let's try that. Let's see if we can find the secret sauce. So we're just going real gently on it. Just tapping it. We're not pushing down. We're just kind of going over the surface of it. Alright, so we're going to turn this off for a second and put it back up on its happy stand so it doesn't burn the shit out of stuff. Alright, so I'm going to try to get these up and see if you guys can see the lettering on there. There we go. So this first one was the one where I was pushing on. It seems to have come out the cleanest. Um, then we have the next one, the A. Um, that one was another one where we were just kind of pushing a little bit. Um, the ones on the bottom here, the, or sorry, the A here was one where I was just kind of like hovering over the top of it, slowly burning it. I think that looks a little bit better. I'm concerned that it's, mm, I, I think it'll hold in there. I think we'll be okay if we do that. All right, we got our first band here. What I want to do is I want to kind of see where the surface is going to be if I was wearing it. So I'd have it on here like that. So you could kind of see where the surface is. Oop, let me drop it down a little bit for you. All right, so we got a surface here. So that's where we're going to want to put our... To put our writing so what I'm going to do is just kind of just draw a line across like a real crude line and it'll kind of show me where okay so we want it to go this way oh wait we want it to go this way okay so we got two lines so what we're going to do is we're going to draw out those lines I'm going to need the light for this one though all right, so we got those two lines. We're gonna find them. Um, so we got one here. So we're just gonna kind of draw a pencil line down it for right now, and then we got another one here. So let's draw that pencil line down on this one. Now you should really do this, you know, each one differently. Um, line them up, see if they're the same. If they're the same, which they are. So now we're just going to kind of cheat the system here and we're going to put one more pencil mark down here and we're going to line them up perfectly and we're going to put a pencil mark there. Okay, so we get this first one sorted out. Now we're going to sort the second one out. Oops. Let's get a... There we go, get this down on it. And this isn't perfectly straight. I'm just using these as guardrails. Um, they don't have to be perfectly straight. It should be close. But we should be good. Alright, so we got that. So we got our two. Um, this one we'll put off to the side here because we're going to do the stamping on that one. And this one we're going to just go and we're going to put a message on here. Um, so we're going to have to do, um, which one's, which way is backwards? Okay, so this is front side. So we close it up. Oh, wait. So at its closest, that's going to be really close. So if we look at it, there's two different ways this is going to play out for like smaller arms. You're going to have not nearly as much space, and it's going to be a different, okay. So that's going to be really tight on that one. Um, so this one we're going to start as far to left as we can, and we're going to make it um, as close to it. So we have these little guidelines, however, the guidelines are kind of like right at the base of the lettering. 
so it's really close I think we actually have to move up just a hair um, so this is going to be difficult to get these to line up perfectly we're just going to look for that little line and kind of drop down until we get into it alright so we got a spot for the first letter and uh, oh shit we're going to turn that on again so what we're going to be looking to do is lightly go across these um, we should still be hot enough yet yeah we're still hot enough so we're just going really light yeah we can line it right back up all right we're gonna let this heat up for a little bit and while we're doing that um, We'll get the soaking done for the stamping one. So we're going to put this off to the side for a minute. So we're going to bring this guy up. Um, this is going to be the same scenario. So we got the same area. Um, we're going to look at these stamps. and we'll get these out. I picked these up for the craft. That's generally what I do. Um, when I'm doing these crafts is I'll pick up the stuff as I need them. So you can see it's got all kinds of nice beautiful letters on them. Um, and it's got a stamping tool. So we're going to be starting out with C. And if we're lucky, these will line up really good. Okay, so that's going to be at the top. Okay, so we got a C that's going to go in there. So it's kind of like watch. Um, So we'll start off with a puppy and then we'll bring in a puppy paw and then we'll bring in the cedar. We'll put a seed in between the puppy paws and each of the letters and then that should be how we're going to pull this one off. I think we're going to do good here. Alright so with um, stamping you have to gently soak in uh, water into the leather itself. We might lose our lines when we do this too. Um, I'm going to do my best to try to keep the water in the lines as well because uh, we're not going to really we're not going to really go outside of that and as you can see the leather is actually soaking it back up. Um, we'll do a little zoomy so you can see. Mm -hmm. Never mind. We'll zoom in. Zoom in. There we go. So you can see the leather is picking it up. Um, well, maybe you can't see. So it's picking it up and it's soaking it in. Uh, you have to do this a couple of times to get the leather pliable so that you can do stamping. Um, we'll do this one first and then we'll head back to the... Now oh, the water is starting to pool up on the top a little bit. That's generally when I stop is when I can see the water pool up. So now what we're going to be waiting for is we're going to be waiting for it to... Um, get a little bit drier and then we'll notice that it's ready to be stamped and then we can start smacking this thing. Um, this may be, may be getting a little loud when I do this. Um, I'll do my best to like uh, kill the kill the sound um, with the hammer strike so that I don't blow your eardrums out. Alright so we said so we're gonna start with a paw. So what we're gonna look for is we're gonna look for the center of this starting off where we started all right, so we're going to go with that, and we're going to give it a couple of good taps, and it's going to imprint the doggy paw. So we got shit. Zoom this back up. All right, so we got a doggy paw. Now we said we we're going to put a cedar in the middle of it, so we're going to come to the middle here, and we're just going to hit this once. And that'll put a cedar in. And now we need our first letter, so we gotta get our C. And we wanna line this up. Um, you can actually draw this out, but since we're just kind of doing this, we're gonna kind of just go through the motions of doing it. So we're gonna put the C down. Good couple hits, and we got a nice C in there. And time is kind of of the essence when you're doing this. Um, Okay, so we said we were going to put a cedar in between each one. 
So we're going to come over here, one hit with the cedar, and now we're going to drop the A on there. Let's move that one off to the side. We're not going to need that one for a while. All right, so here's our A. We're going to put that right here. Alright, so now this one is stamped out. Um, let's see if we can get this up so you guys can see. Yep, there we go. I think. There we go. Oh, it's backwards. So, we got it stamped out. So now it's got to dry before we can dye it. So we're going to put that one off to the side. And now we're going to pick this one back up now that we got um, a bit more um, heat on this. So we're going to come in here. We're going to line this back up, get it as best as we can. Um, don't expect perfection on your first time. I'm, I'm not going to. Um, we're just going to learn how to do this and we're going to get better at it, right? So, see we turn this off, this off to the side. Uh, that's what we got for the second one. So we got the burning done. We got little stuff like that. All right, so now we're at the stage of this journey where we get to color it. So we're gonna get this color. This one we can color right away because it's still dry. Um, this one actually is should be okay too. So we should be okay. Alright, so we need another one of those little cool trays we got. And this time we're going to we got an extra sponge. Let's double check. Yeah, we do. Okay, so we're going to take a fresh sponge. Always have a couple of them and a fresh bin. And we're going to use some leather gel. We're going to color it. So we're going to go to a medium brown. So we're going to put that here. Um, get that ready because we're going to smooth it out. Uh, we're going to get some vintage gel. Like I said, it's going to be a medium brown. So we're going to change the color of all of this fun stuff. Make a little bit of a mess. All right, so we're going to put some down in there. And get it into our get it into our um, sponge. Now we're gonna come across. We're gonna have to do this from a couple different directions, probably because of the. Um, shit. The rivets are already in these, so we're gonna kind of get in the rivet areas as best we can. A um, little bit of pushing down with the sponge will feed the stuff in there and then you can kind of come over the top of it. Alright, so we got that. I want to keep the excess gone. Alright, so we're going to put that one off to the side here. And we're going to bring up our next one. You can either fill in the stamping 
with the dye make it darker or if you get lucky like we look no oh, no we did it um, so we're gonna kind of push in leather dye into the into the lettering here we're gonna make it a, a solid there we go sometimes you get lucky and you'll miss everywhere and you could just bring it up and it looks really good um, in this case it cut the H in the the first of the um, bear or the paws got shit in them so we can't do it that way so we're gonna kinda just go this way and now we wait and there you have it folks these are our two uh, wristbands one done with uh, wood burning or sorry leather burning the other done with stamping I think they look alright uh, you know obviously like I said you get through get better keep doing them keep doing practicing um, it makes perfect well there is no such thing as perfect but it makes you better all right everybody I hope everybody learned something today um, I certainly did I learned how to do leather burning a little bit I'm definitely not good at it yet but you know we did it we completed it we overcame that hurdle and everything from there beyond that is going to be some more learning and some more doing and getting better at it uh, that's what we do so uh, again if you found this content enjoyable and you want to participate in this leather working journey with me I'm more than welcome to have you aboard uh, subscribe to the channel drop a like and leave some feedback in the comments including maybe some other leather working things you'd like to see us do here in the grow uh, until next time be inspired be inspiring and growl louder folks Peace.